All right, team. We're back today with some more Super Auto Pets. There's a new weekly pack. We have bacon now. Give a pet plus two attack or tier one food. That's kind of interesting. Not a huge fan of taking a bunch of marmosets, but looks like that's what we're doing. And let's take a duck. So I don't 100% know what's in the pack. I took a brief look through. There's chocolate and crows, so I feel like it's going to be a very high level up pack. So you can aim for more of the tier 5s and 6s and actually plan on leveling them quickly now. But that's just a guess. We're going to see. Let's be the legendary gladiators. I love that they're throwing new words in there. Not bad. Decent start. Alright, we definitely have to adjust the volume. Let's do that. Alright. Three ants. Well, you gotta take that. Okay. I don't really want to combine the armor set. I have no, no desire to do that. So let's actually sell one. Get the vol, chinchilla full dragon. So we could, yeah, we're not going to combine here. I think we're just going to roll, see if, oh my goodness, more marmosets. You know what, now we have the level up, so we might as well to get a tier 3 as quick as possible. So next turn we'll get two tier 3 availables with both the ants and the marmoset. All right, that was a rough ant throw, but we still win this one. All right, <laughs> two wins. All right, so let's combine the ants here, see what we get. Not a huge fan of the bear, if I'm being honest. It's kind of an odd one. The Marmoset's a tough one to level up, because it doesn't really upgrade anything. But, you know, if that's what you're given, that's what you're given. Definitely get a draft. We'll go Big Ant to start with. I don't know how I feel about the bear. I don't think we're going to go bear here. More Marmosets. I'm not leveling up a Marmoset again. The raccoon's an interesting idea. I kind of like the raccoon. Really depends on how much scaling we have in this pack to make the raccoon really work. All right, well played. Guess we are going big ant. Don't really like any of those. We could throw meat on the giraffe just so it hits a little harder. I don't plan on keeping either of these. The ant I do plan on keeping, but I don't think it really needs meat here. We might as well roll just to find something we actually want to keep. Tabby Cat's not bad. But with cupcakes and stuff like that, a lot of meat, honey... Not really enough, like, one-time users that we'd really want to keep on the Tabby Cat just baking so far. Alright, we killed the raccoon before it took the meat from the giraffe, so that was the big deciding factor in that match. Double crab. Bear we don't want still... Cucumber's not a bad idea, just to get something scaling, but honestly, we still want to get rid of most of our team. We could try a Tamaran, and then just sell it late game, so that... Let's try it out. I've never tried that one. But basically, if we put stats on it, and then we can sell it late game, it might work out for us. And then we can put it on something like a hippo or whatever's in this pack. 
Yeah, I'm not so sure about the dog. Okay, we got two of those. We're not keeping the duck. Shrimp wouldn't be terrible because I have a lot of cell things going on at the moment. But we are on turn five, so I don't want a shrimp scampi this late. I'd rather have a tier three that could actually work well with our group. Another giraffe would be ideal. They already have a hippo. That is scary stuff. Yeah, that's fair. Alright, another giraffe. That's good for us. Sell that. Get the Emperor Tamaran. We'll get another giraffe. We'll keep them separate and actually buff the Tamaran. I'm really surprised they have not changed the peacock yet. Four attack on her is kind of insane. With no limits or anything like that. They really went crazy with the peacock rework. Hmm. Camel's always good. Honestly, let's throw this on there. Get that thing scaling. We want to get it to level 2 so it gets 100% of the stats. That way it's not money wasted that we're putting into it right now. A lot of peacocks, because people know. It's strong right now. Not bad. All right. Four wins. Crow is good. Armadillo is not bad. Let's freeze the crow. It's time for the marmoset to go. That's what we want to see. A goat. Not really what we're looking for. Okay. So if we sell the crow, unfortunately we have to use this on an ant. But now we get a bison. That's not bad. It is a little late. Now I could freeze the hippo. And then next turn, sell the Tamaran, give the stats to the Hippo. They upped the Hippo to plus 3 plus 3 instead of plus 2 plus 2. I don't know if that's been like that and I just didn't notice. But that seems like it'll be pretty strong now. What is that? Porcupine hurt deals 6 damage to the pet that hurt the porcupine. It's kind of cool. kind of weird though because it's so specific to the one that hurt the por porcupine but usually either the porcupine kills something or something kills the por porcupine unless you put a bunch of bro broccoli into it all right we got to go double can here and then to the leftmost shop pet so we sell this it'll give so this should be a 1420 hippo That's not bad. That's not bad. All right, we're going to switch up our layout a little bit. I don't care that much about the ant, if we're being honest. So what we're going to do here is buff the hippo and the bison. There we go. Okay, that works. We can freeze a snail just as an in-case here, because we know we're going to have a spot available from combining our giraffes. Might get garlic. I don't know if there's... Is there lemon? Nope, that's not what I wanted to click. Bear with me for a second while we get through this. Oh, just do that. All right. I just want to see, is there a lemon or something better than a garlic, which there is not. But there is a pepper. Pepper could be good. Okay. Yeah, I don't think we're going to garlic then, because we're close enough to later. Alright, this hippo should carry us. 
Hopefully. Maybe. We'll see. There's just so much chocolate in this pack that it could get a little crazy. Alright. Hippo's popping off. Not bad. Six wins. Links, steal one equal to the sum of all friendly levels. That's decent. Alright, let's combine giraffes. Unfreeze snail. Giraffe. So we do have one three free one level three friendly pet. So we could go hammerhead shark. That being said, is it worth it? I mean, right now we don't really have a better option. Wow. So the real big question here is... I could go for Squad Marty and get the level 2 Hippo. Or I could get the Shark out there so next turn we just pop off on levels. I think I'm going to do that. And then let's play the... Let's play a Hippo. That way we have room in the shop for more potential. This is a good squad. That being said, I don't know what's in the pack, so anything could really beat us right now. Walvis is in the pack, okay. Hippo's doing some serious work, okay. Alright, so now we have 13 gold because of the Hammerhead Shark. That's pretty sweet. Let's get a level 2 Hippo. Okay. Does that give us 6 gold? Okay. I'm sorry I talked bad about you, Hammerhead Shark. I take it all back. Stegosaurus is pretty good. The ideal situation now would be to get something else to level 3 so we can get rid of this ant who is really not doing well for us. But with 6 extra gold a turn, we can roll so much. We're going to find that chocolate. Maybe get a spot open for a crow. Oh, plus 6, plus 6. Oh, this hippo is popping off. Okay. Eight wins. White tiger, start a battle, make one friend behind level three, which is kind of crazy. Could make the hippo level three, but we're already getting kind of close to that. Let's get the bison. Alpaca is really good. But we got a good thing going here. Alright, let's get the pepper on the hippo. We're still at 10 gold and we just did all that. Let's get a pepper on a bison. Let's get a hippo. Alright, that looks good. We just got to hope for either one more chocolate or one more hippo. And that'll make it so we can get rid of this ant. And then our team will be amazing. The draft is probably about time also. Alright, that was kind of rude. We still win these. Alright. We got two chocolates. Okay. Knock out 9-9. Nine, nine. That is insane. So this ant could go. We could do walrus, but that would probably override one of these green peppers. We could get rid of the ant, put a walrus in the back. Let's think on that. Okay. Kind of want a pill. Pill is in this pack, right? Yes, it is. Kind of want a pill. Wow. 
All right. So I got four of these. So level two gives two pets peanuts. So if these two are in the front, then the third pet is walrus. These two would get peanuts. That's pretty awesome. All right. So get rid of ant or giraffe. My vote is ant. Can we get a canned food and a level up? 369, yes we can. Let's do that. I lied, we can't. That was not smart, but that's fine. All pets plus one attack, that's pretty good value. All right, so right now it only gives one. So we could do that and get one more turn of leveling those up. We'll put the hippo second in line. That's a big bison. Good thing we have the pepper. Oh no, the weakness. The lionfish is so strong. Ooh, that's a lot of chicks. We actually lost it. Oh no. Yeah, the lionfish is insane. Alright, let's level that up. Mammoth, not really what we're looking for. Alright, let's do that. It'll give, it'll will override meat, but it'll give those two peanuts. You know what? I kind of feel like we get rid of the giraffe here. We could get a monkey. So we're still at 10. 10 money, so I'm not too worried about that right now. Don't think we want a monkey, though. Don't really want a dragon... That doesn't really work for our squad. We could get a lynx. It would snipe for three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten damage. That's not bad. It'd break a bell pepper or something like that. All right, let's do that. Let's freeze the crow. Let's get a lynx in there. All right. That's a big hippo. They sniped our pepper. That's a huge issue. Wow. We had a such a good team. That snipe on the bell pepper was a shame. Nine wins, though. Not bad. Yeah, so this pack's all about leveling up. So the bison's actually huge here. Not great. I honestly would rather roll for something else rather than take that beaver just to find something here. Okay. We'll run with that. Let's be shiny beavers. All right, we lose this one, but that's fine. We'll end with, end with a two squad. This game's really pushing the ants. So let's sell, sell, sell. Next turn we'll combine them. This turn that gets us another ant, so we only have to pay for one ant next turn. All right, don't give the buff to the ant is all I'm asking. Thank you. And we win these. All right, let's combine our ants. Snail, okay. Combine the chinchillas, definitely a camel. We'll take that. There we go. 
Right, let's get a mosquito in there. Easy com combined potential here. We'll take two frigate birds. Give the since the camel has a herd ability, it'll give it with both of them, and it'll do plus four health. It'll be a two ten. It's not terrible. Gave the buff to the camel. That's what we like to see. All right. Two wins. Let's combine our mosquito. We're really just hoping for an upgrade on that one. You know what? We're going to do the same with the frigate bird. I think we're going to be selling our chinchilla. Kind of want to get the goldfish. Unless we see a frigid bird, which we did not. Let's get the goldfish. It's definitely not as good stat-wise. But it's going to discount two of the pets we buy. Potentially buy. That is a shame that it moved the goldfish behind the camel. Okay. Alright, so we have a discounted barren cockroach. That is not what we're looking for. Alright, discount two by two gold. So we'll have two one cost pets. Porcupine works here. So we're actually going to get rid of the mosquito. We'll get a porcupine. More camels. I'm okay with that. We didn't use the pill just because we didn't have enough money, but I think this next turn, probably get rid of the bird and then use the pill and hope it hits either camel or porcupine. Oh, I didn't even think of that. Porcupine's a really good anti-snipe mechanic. Look at that. Alright. Three wins. Nope, I lied. That was a tie. Alright, so we have a one cost bear. Oh, we freeze stuff. Oh man, that's huge. Goldfish is actually pretty sweet. Just freeze stuff and get it for super cheap. Do we want a one cost bear? No. That's what I'm talking about. Could get a parrot. I am a big fan of the giraffe here. Don't judge me for keeping that pill frozen. Last time I couldn't find one when I needed it, so it's coming full circle. Alright. Big porcupine's gonna be huge. I know that sentence didn't really make sense, but you get what I'm saying. All right, three wins. One cost crow, now that's what I'm talking about. All right, do not hit the frigid bird, thank you. All right, let's buy that, sell. Let's see, we'll definitely get a one cost giraffe. Put that up front. This is insane, but we're actually going to chocolate the goldfish here. Rhino would be interesting. I don't really think that's what this team is about, though. Alright, we got a weird team, that's for sure. But we get two free buys every turn, which is kind of cool. Alright, they have a similar team. I got honey badgered. That's a shame. Alright, a free bison. Don't really care about the free frail dragon. A blobfish. 
they change the blobfish before faint give friend behind one one and an experience wow that's actually really good now and there's pills in this pack they just literally put all leveling mechanics in one pack chocolate crow blobfish pill this is kind of insane all right so how are we playing this we want the blobfish we could try to hit the camel with it porcupine wouldn't be bad either frigid bird we're done with you we do have a level three so the bison works you know what giraffe i'm sorry buddy but you gotta go let's get bison let's get blobfish let's pill blobfish perfect Nothing we want there. Porcupine, blobfish, we just need pills. Give me more pills. Alright, I should have changed this order. This order's out of whack. Camel should have been further up. That wasn't smart. What is happening here, though? Well, I feel a little better about my order. Oh, we still tie, though. That's embarrassing. Alright, got a pill. These are now free. So, free porcupine. I don't think I'm going to level up the blobfish, but I'm definitely going to pill it. Okay, we got a level 2. White Tiger could make the camel level 3. That'd be interesting. I think the Lionfish is really the ideal ad right now, though. So let's roll. Okay, that's big. Opac is good. Not really what we're going for, though. We got a pill. Okay. So let's see. We are going to blobfish there. Keep the lionfish on ice. No, actually, we can... Let's pill the bob blobfish onto the bison. And then get the lionfish. That's not bad. Alright, that hippo scares me. Yep, that hippo's taking me down. Okay, a free lionfish, that's big. Okay, I could get a camel here. Do we really want to continue down the camel train, though? I feel like I want to get rid of the goldfish at this point, but it's what's buffing our bison. Kim, I think you just did not level up enough, unfortunately. Which is funny, because we are going to get two monkeys now, but I mean... Get a free crow and a free cow. That's big. Alright, let's see how this team goes. I don't know. This could be the end of the line. But the porcupine's a very interesting concept. Anti-snipe is kind of cool. We're still in it. Now we have a free cow and a free crow, which is kind of crazy. So we got to figure out what to get rid of here. It's got to be the goldfish at this point. We'll just need to see either one bison or one chocolate. 
to make this worth it. Alright, we got a self-buffing bison. That's pretty big. Walvis does work here. Let's get a crow. Sell the crow. Now the question is level up the monkey or the lionfish. Lionfish would make it trigger twice, which is big. But I think we need the scaling. And our next goal will be to get the lionfish upgraded. So we have decent scaling now. Hopefully it's enough to get us to late game. They have their Wallace in front of those two, which means they may get their uh, Pepper overridden. That's a shame. Yeah, they had so many snipes. That was a good team, though. I really thought it was going to go all the way, because, well, it, there was a rough spot for a while there. The Lionfish with one trigger, I don't know. It, it's still really good, but I should have leveled that up, probably. I don't, know. I don't know if I could have beaten a full snipe team like that. Anyway, this new weekly pack is awesome. It's crazy to see how many like chocolates and ways to get experience there is now. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like, comment, subscribe. I'm definitely going to check out this weekly pack again. Let me know if you like it in the comments below. And I'll catch you all next time. Bye!